labor shortages, it's labor cost increases, it's space efficiency, it's order accuracy, it's market demands on how quickly you have to get product to the consumer, whether it's e-com or omni-channel. You know, what used to be three day is one day, what used to be one day is same day. And so the solution to that is automation. The first step for any, any potential um, investor in automation is to look inward. You need to look at your operation, understand what your pain points are, and then that'll help steer you to a segment of the marketplace so you can at least begin your search. Um, at the equipment level, you wanna ask the questions around what type of control system architecture are you using? Um, is it open source? Is it closed source? I would also recommend a slightly more modern warehouse execution system for consideration. This enlists some of the high-level functionality of a WMS with some of the localized uh, equipment control of a WCS. And then lastly, I think you want to ask your manufacturers and your integrators, do you have a flexible adaptation layer on top of your software? Because you don't know what type of equipment we're going to add below or what type of WMS we're going to have to talk to in the future. So maintaining that flexibility and that agility is really key to integration.